you are listening to the hindu business lines context podcast my name is tr vivek so there you have it the indian premier league will be bigger from the next edition two new teams lucknow and ahmedabad have been added to the eight existing ones well the additions are hardly a surprise it is the new owners and the price that they have coughed up has surprised many going by the social media speculation the adani group winning the bid for its home state team ahmedabad was a foregone conclusion but it was cvc formerly the venture capital arm of city group and sanjeev goenka of the rpsg group that beat big names like kotak adani torrent pharma and a clutch of other contestants to the finishing line Sanjeev Goenka pocketing the Lucknow franchise was the most interesting story of this round of big money bidding battle. Sanjeev Goenka paid a whopping rupees 7090 crore for Lucknow which was widely regarded as the least attractive in commercial terms. The capital of UP has little cricketing pedigree. In UP Kanpur has been the traditional international cricket venue. Lucknow's consumer market is much smaller than metro cities or even Ahmedabad. Undaunted, Sanjeev Goenka offered almost 2000 crore rupees more than his closest bidder for Lucknow. Predictably, Goenka's big gamble raised the question if he could indeed make good of this massive investment considering his business empire and personal wealth. are much smaller than say the adanis or the kotaks even his elder brother harsh goenka had some free advice for sanjeev or was it a pot shot packaged in the form of an explanation we we'll leave that to decide harsh goenka took to twitter and said why am i not investing in a new ipl team one at expected winning price of rupees 3500 to 4000 crore the return is poor two consumer catchment lower on remaining cities 3 too much of my personal time will be spent 4 additional matches may lead to trp fatigue and 5 i don't have the money many others on twitter pointed out that the rupees 7090 crore is more than the net profit of all the sanjeev goenka companies put together is there any method to sanjeev goenka's madness Let's look at both Sanjeev Goenka's businesses and how IPL's own business model works. RPG Enterprises, founded by industrialist Rama Prasad Goenka, was split up in 2010 between Harsh and Sanjeev Goenka. Reliance style almost, but to be fair, it wasn't anywhere near as acrimonious. Mumbai-based Harsh Goenka, who is one of India's largest art collectors and a notable dispenser of life hacks on Twitter, got the control of Seat Tires the engineering and construction firm KEC International RPG Life Sciences and the IT firm Zensar Kolkata based Sanjeev Goenka who maintained a much lower public profile compared to his elder brother was given control of the Kolkata Power Utility CESC retail chain Spencers the entertainment firm Saregama and philips carbon black that made ingredients for the tire industry sanjeev goenka is no stranger to consumer businesses media or sports enterprises he owns atletico de kolkata the city's uh, indian super league or isl football team for two years his firm owned the pune ipl team formed because of the suspension of chennai super kings among other things it resulted in the tackiest ipl branding The team which essentially consisted of all CSK players was called Rising Pune Super Giants to match the group's acronym RPSG. Goenka also owns Open Magazine and Fortune India, the India licensee of the international business magazine title. Given the group's interest in consumer and media sectors, owning an IPL team may prove complementary. Even then, Does that justify an investment of almost a billion dollars? Believe it or not, IPL is a fairly low risk business if you manage to get in that is. Goenka only has to pay the franchise fee of 7090 crore in 10 annual installments of rupees 709 crore. All teams are guaranteed 
a 50% share of the money from IPL's central contract revenue pool. Last year, for instance, IPL raked in more than 4,000 crore rupees from TV rights and sponsorships. So each team was kind of assured of an income of close to 250 crore rupees. Plus, the teams strike out their own sponsorship deals. When spectators are allowed in, teams get to keep most of the gate receipts and the money from in-stadia advertising at the home matches. For instance, big teams like CSK or Mumbai Indians regularly earn more than 70 crore rupees from their own advertising. And every bit of a player's equipment is valuable advertising real estate. So, with a bigger IPL, with more matches, the central revenue pool only gets bigger. Just as Sanjeev Goenka pays IPL roughly about 710 crore rupees every year, he gets back almost instantly about 300 to 350 crore. Lucknow would be the lone IPL team of Uttar Pradesh, India's most populous state and pretty much a virgin market for the commerce of cricket. Generating advertising income or gate receipts uh, to top 50 or 60 crore a year is unlikely to be much of a problem. More importantly, clever business houses like India Cements and Reliance use their IPL teams as a marketing vehicle for their core business operations. The franchise fee and assorted costs of running a team becomes chump change for the massive marketing benefits that a successful team or star players bring. The expenditures on the IPL team, in effect, becomes a part of the advertising and marketing expenses of the mother business. We don't know if Lucknow will be luckier than Pune for Sanjeev Goenka, but there's a good chance he'll prove his brother Harsh's predictions wrong.